right, welcome to today's class. In today's class, I wanna share with you 10, 10 big mistakes people make, coaches, consultants, business owners, CEOs make when it comes to building their funnels, marketing their funnels. And why is this so important? And why am I even qualified to teach you? First of all, my business has generated over $30 million in sales before the age of 30 using what I'm gonna share with you, using the power of funnels. And the big mistakes that I see people make, I have a whole list of them and I'm gonna go through all 10 of them, is, is what's holding them back from creating their dream income, right? Now, you already know by now, a funnel is essentially where people come in, okay? These are, this is where you have awareness. People get to know who you are, okay? Over here, they become leads, which is basically they become prospects, they're interested, okay? So here, they're interested. And then what happens is, then they become clients, okay? And when they become clients, they start paying you money, okay? Now, you've probably seen people talk about this and, you know, the whole industry is wild when it comes to funnels. Everyone's talking about funnels, funnels, funnels. The thing is, and the big mistake people make is that, well, there's actually 10, and I'm gonna go through all 10 of them for you, is they see someone else's funnel, Okay, so number one, okay, number one, let's see, number one, they see someone else's funnel and then they just try to copy and funnel hack, okay? And you've probably seen people talk like this, right? Let's go funnel hack this, let's go swipe this, let's go, uh, you know, steal their copy. And all of these things somewhat borders on the line of being unethical. You, you can model people, but you should never just completely rip people's work off because that's unique to them. And what I find is that too many newbie entrepreneurs and even sometimes experienced business owners, you know, they come in and then they say, oh my gosh, you know, all I have to do is just copy someone else. And they make these grave mistakes. And this is why, okay, when you copy someone else, what happens is your messaging gets off. Your message doesn't ma match your market that you're trying to sell. So for example, I help entrepreneurs with funnels and with high ticket offers. I help them with automation. Now, if you're selling to, you know, property investors, to doctors, to uh, a dentist, to plastic surgeons, you're speaking and you're selling to people in the privacy space or the SaaS space, it's going to be very different, right? So you just blatantly copying someone like me may not work for you. I'll give you an example. Uh, uh, this past week, I was speaking to a lady. She had tried to hire so many funnel experts. And then she came to me because she had, you know, gone to Facebook groups. She tried to hire someone. She got burnt. Her team is annoyed. Her CMO is not happy. Her COO is not happy. She does $20 million a year and she helps people with hearing aids. So she came on a call with me within that, you know, within less than an hour of that call, I pitched her for my services, which goes up to $56,000 just for that specific funnel that she wants. And it was very obvious her or her team, first they tried to copy someone, it didn't work, then they tried to hire someone, and they, I think, went for a cheap option that didn't really fit what they were looking for. So this is a mistake a lot of people make. They think just by copying, they're gonna get results. And remember, when you copy someone, they have a whole different traffic strategy, a backend strategy. That's why so many people try to funnel hack me, they have no idea what my backend program is, how my operations are built on the backend, what kind of price points I have. They don't see the bigger picture. And this is one of the big mistakes people are making. So how do you get over it? You get over it by making sure that your stuff, your, all of your presentation, your materials, your messaging is unique, okay? Your messaging must be unique. Let me do this on my fancy whiteboard here. Okay, how do you like this? By the way, if you're new on the channel, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button uh, on the YouTube. That way the YouTube algorithm is gonna show you more of my videos, uh, on my recommended videos that I have here for you. And in this series, I'm gonna go through so many different components of what it takes to build six, seven, eight, and even nine figure funnels. So second big mistake people make is that they are too salesy in their approach. Okay, what do I mean by this? They're trying to get in bed real quick. And you know, it's like dating. If you were to date someone, what do you do? You get to know the person, right? 
um, hopefully you don't jump in in the first day, right? What you do is you go and build a relationship where they know, like, and trust you, okay? You increase the KLT factor, the KLT factor. So this builds and breeds trust, okay? I will have people that will, you know, they'll say, they look at, you know, my brand and they'll be like, oh my gosh, like, Shaq has money. He's going to just buy my stuff. They, you know, they don't realize, okay, that people become successful because they do less dumb things, okay? They do less dumb things. They make smarter decisions. So when you are trying to get money, when you're trying to earn an income, when you're trying to build your business, you have to do it in a sophisticated manner where you're trying to give the person you're selling a bigger deal. Okay, and what happens is if you're too salesy from the beginning and you don't have any, you know, no like or trust, then what happens is it turns people off. It turns smart people off, right? So we are discussing the 10 big mistakes and that was number two. Number three is that they are building a sales funnel way too early. Okay, now if this is the entire sales funnel, okay, this is what, 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 what the the entire process is where people come in and you know they come in through here facebook youtube instagram linkedin lots of different traffic sources they become interested and then they want to buy what happens is before this entire process comes to life we want to make sure that the funnel will convert and how do we do that we don't do that by first building a funnel building a product building a service that takes months, sometimes even years. What we want to do first is we want to make sure that there's a target market waiting to be sold. They're already ready to buy. And what, how we do this, I'll give you a quick little example, is you can go to Google and type in almost any keyword. For example, if you are supplying funnels and you are supplying SEO and PPC services to dentists in London, right? You can type in dentists in London and you can see are there other people advertising? Because if there's other people advertising, that means there's money in that niche. And we want to go where the money is, right? And we want to do this research. That's number one. Another way you can do this is figure out who's in your warm contacts. People on your Facebook, on your Instagram, on your LinkedIn. People that follow you right now. People on your t phone. Literally, you can grab your phone book. I'm sure you're going to have two, 300, 500 people that are on your contact list. Message 10, 20 of them and just say, hey, I'm interested in offering my services to a dentist in London. Do you know anyone? Can you recommend one or two people that you've worked with? I mean, I know from the top of my head, like three very good dentists that I've worked with Oh, I've got services from in London. So if you were selling a service to dentists and you had my number, which most likely you don't, but let's say you did have my number, you could ask me and I could probably even do a personal introduction to the, to the dentist where you can come and provide the service. Does that make sense? Okay, so once I've got confirmation, yes, I've got confirmation that there's a problem in the marketplace, people are paying for it, people are advertising the solution, then I can go and build one of these babies. Okay, so one big mistake people make is that they're way too early. Next thing is, so number one, two, three, four, is that they, whatever they build is not sustainable, meaning it does not scale. Okay, so this is one of the reasons why I do not like, you know, posting on social media endlessly or doing just stuff like organic marketing. In fact, anyone that teaches you just organic marketing, most of the time, they've never really built a business because a real business is sustainable, is scalable. It gives the business owner freedom so that you don't have to be chained to your computer 18 hours a day, seven days a week. Does that make sense, right? Is this making sense to you? Is this powerful stuff or what? You wanna build a business that's scalable. And a big mistake people make is, that they're with their funnels is that it doesn't have any scale to it. So they'll build it for the warm audience or they'll build it to get a sale here or a sale there, but they don't build the funnel, AKA the entire sales environment, right? That's all, all a funnel is. A funnel is a place, with, a process that takes someone from a place of discomfort into a place of comfort. And at the end, they give you money for your products and services. 
So we want to always build with scale in mind. Why? That's what will give you freedom. So for example, when I build a funnel, sure, I'll use organic marketing to kickstart it. I'll post it on my Facebook group. I'll email it to my list. I'll you know, post it on my Instagram, on Clubhouse. But here's the thing. I will always make sure, okay, I will always make sure that I can spend a dollar to make five or 10 back. And if you want to actually learn more, you can go to the link in the description below this video, go to salesfunnelschallenge.com and you're going to be able to experience a five day uh, boot camp. Uh, okay, a five day boot camp. Literally, we're charging 50 bucks. Most of my programs are at least $20,000 to $50,000 and beyond. But I want to do something good for our community because I see a lot of people that don't have results. They're just kind of the blind leading the blind. And I want to do something really special for you. So for a limited time only, uh, you can go to salesfunnelschallenge.com or underneath this video, there's going to be a link. It's only 50 bucks or so. Grab it, salesfunnelschallenge.com. All right, so pass that tiny little commercial break let's get back to this so mistake number four is that they don't have funnels that scale number five okay number five is they don't have a funnel that increases the trust factor okay have you ever gone to a funnel or someone's website or someone's product and service and you're like ew i don't trust this person right so, and there's so many different things from the, the speed at which the page loads at, the message, the copy, you know, the person that's on there, you know, trying to offer their services, right? Maybe they don't look like someone that's trustworthy. So ask yourself, how can you increase your trust, right? When you are marketing high ticket products, when you are trying to sell a service that's $2,000, $5,000, $10,000 and beyond, which is what I specialize in helping with our clients. How can you increase your trust factor? You know, if you go to any of my websites and my funnels, funnels.com, salesfunnelschallenge.com, wealthacademy.com, shakirusain.com, those are some of the public ones. I have a, a lot more which are private, which actually I make bulk of my income from. But the, the public ones, if you go to check out any of these, one of the things you're going to find is, hmm, it's like there's a lot of authority here. I trust this person. I'm using stuff like social proof, okay? Number six, so trust factors. How can you increase your trust when someone comes in? Number six is qualifying the right people. Okay, have you ever gone to a, a funnel? If you go to salesfunnelchallenge.com right now, you can actually see, you will say something like, an attention, coaches and consultants, right? Because I'm looking for people that, are, that identify themselves as coaches and consultants. It doesn't say stuff like, newbies right doesn't say stuff like uh, people that are in a nine to five job because i'm looking for a specific type of person that i can help right so ask yourself does your funnel qualify people but most importantly disqualify the wrong people okay number seven number seven is they don't have a compelling system that even when people come in into their business, okay, that say so for example, they come into the landing page, they watch a video, they book a call, but 50% of those people don't show up. Did you even know that? Right? Just because someone books a call or someone shows interest, that doesn't mean that they're gonna actually pick up the phone and they're gonna come in. So how do you maintain and get a 90% plus show up rate? How do you do that? Well, if you don't sort this out of getting the maximum number of people to show up, then you're going to miss, miss out on the potential sales. You're spending way too much money, right? Because it's like, it's very simple, right? If I spend a hundred bucks and you spend a hundred bucks and I got 10, you know, leads and you got 10 leads, but only three of your leads or five of your leads show up and nine of my leads show up, he's going to, who has a better chance of making money? You or me? probably me right so we want to do everything that we can to increase the show up rate right so for example you know if you were talking to a dentist and you had you know booked a call with them right what do you need to do to make sure that they show up so finding different ways for them to show up that's going to increase your chance of converting them into a highly paid customer does that make sense okay moving on 
Moving on, what is eight? Making sure that their marketing has a story, okay? People will come to you because of your headline. People will come to you because of what you're promising. People will come to you because of hype. They're excited, but they stay for the story right? Figure out how can you add a story in there. The story connects the person, right? You can say something about your background, the mistakes you made, the lessons you've learned, the secrets you've discovered, other people's mistakes. And when you tell a little story, okay, that, that's really what marketing is. Marketing and funnels, you know, the best funnels, if you, I don't know if you notice, but the best funnels tell a massive story, okay? So for example, if you go to salesfunnelschallenge.com right now, okay, underneath this video, there should be a link. I'm literally telling people a story about why they shouldn't try to be a millionaire, okay? I mean, you you, you, might, you could try and you should try. It's, it's a great thing. But most people, you know, they make, uh, the, I'm, I'm, I'm painting a story, which is they're trying to be a millionaire, but they haven't learned how to do something which I call stacking high income skills. Because when you learn how to stack high income skills, then you can also stack 10Ks, right? And what that means is you don't get rich and you don't become a millionaire making $100 there or $1,000 there. You get there by, and it's much easier to get there if you stack 10Ks, right? If you sell a product for $10,000 and you sold 100 of them, that's your million bucks there. Or if you're in the UK, it's a million pounds. Does that make sense? Right. So what is the story that you have and have a compelling story? You know, one of my favorite books is actually here on um, stories is this book, Marketing Made Simple by D Donald Miller. Right. Literally in the first page of the book, I had no idea. I bought it because I wanted to uh, read it for myself. But on the first page, he's literally talking about the power of funnels. OK, he's literally saying. A sales funnel is the basic foundation of a good digital marketing plan. Once you create a sales funnel, your advertising then can support a sales funnel. A sales funnel is a way to capture and convert leads. Literally, the first page, that's what he talks about. I had absolutely no idea. I just wanted to learn storytelling from this guy. And he's talking about the power of funnels, right? And I see this. Right, so I was talking about stories, right? You got to make sure that you have a compelling story that's easy for people to understand that they can relate to you that humanizes the connection in your funnel right if it's too robotic you will see people get off so what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have an effective story okay and the story is what leads to our next one which is the usp the unique selling proposition what's unique about what you're offering to, if you have a me too copy of her, if you are trying to funnel like someone else's headline, if you don't have a unique selling proposition or a UEP, a unique emotional proposition that connects you and your prospect, it's game over. People just, they don't stick with it. Does that make sense? They don't stick with it. And what you want to have is when you have someone's attention, you want to make sure that you stick with it. This is why you tell a story. You know, one of the reasons if you watch, if you're watching this right now and you've been watching this whole video, why are you watching this? Because I immediately said, hey, the reason why you want to pay attention to this is because even smart business owners, they make these mistakes. OK, and the final big mistake is lack of psychological triggers. And what these psychological triggers are, these are the basic triggers that people don't have in their marketing they don't have this so that they aren't able to convert someone from place a to place b and now in the next video i'm actually going to break down the nine mental triggers and i'm going to walk you through them so these are the 10 big mistakes people make when it comes to marketing with their funnels and this is after this experience that i've developed and this expertise is after doing this for over a decade now when we build businesses and we and we build funnels and sometimes i'll charge a client fifty thousand to a hundred thousand dollars and beyond plus equity of their company to build funnels for them right this past week i've spoken to you know the lady that's making 20 million dollars a year 
uh, from a physical product. I've got another guy who's who does credit repair. He does five million dollars a year. I've got a whole bunch of clients that I'm working with and even prospects and needs, and they come to me for funnels. And one of the things that I've been so passionate about doing is, you know, every now and then I open up a, a very affordable program that walks people through, right? If you want VIP coaching from me, it's, it's usually anywhere from 20K to 50K and beyond. Um, you can actually see the details below, but if you're on a budget or you're kind of starting off scratch and you want to get to your first 10K or 25K per month, or you want to add that every single month, then I invite you to come and check out the five-day sales funnels challenge. There should be a link below, or just go to salesfunnelschallenge.com and I'll see you there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get notified of the next video that I'm about to drop tomorrow. So with that being said, thanks so much. I'll see you in the next video.